Welcome back to TV8 and good morning, Vale. Is it too early today to buy you a shot? It is here at least. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, how are you? I wonder how many of those little guys get served out every day here. Just a few. Yeah, just a few. This is the place to come do it. I love it. Uh, you know, shots aside, the bar, whatnot. You have a delicious menu, which I want to talk about in just a moment. Uh, the Coyote is a tradition for so many people. You're right here as you go up to the mountain. I mean, this is the place to go after the mountain closes and to hang out, build memories. We definitely have a really popular upright ski. It's very handy coming up from the bus and getting on the mountain and then come back off the mountain for yeah. sure. What, do you do lunch right now? Oh, we do. We do lunch starting 11 a.m. Uh, that runs till 3 a.m. Then we go into an apres ski with uh, actually some food specials, drink specials, and then dinner until 9 o'clock. We're actually probably one of the few places open late night till like 1 o'clock. I like this. This is definitely, I mean, if you want to party late night, sometimes, what's the latest you've ever seen somebody in their ski boots here? Oh boy, pretty late, Until probably. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> you know, you can always go back to the hotel. Yeah. Uh, specials that you have that are here, I love it. You know, going back through your kitchen, I'm amazed at the just quality of food and the abundance of food that you get out there. And you have everything. My kids' favorite here, it's like a never ending plate of nachos. Our nachos are gigantic. Actually, if you come in and order nachos, don't order them just for yourself. Maybe two or three of you, maybe even four of you could split it. It is a full meal stacked up there, but then you also have healthy additions on that as well. You know, so many people watching their diet right now. We have some really good salads, a black and blue salad, uh, kale and avocado salad. Um, also, a lot of gluten-free stuff on this menu. And that's getting asked for plenty, a lot more attention, I think, uh, to our dietary needs. But also, sometimes it comes right down to the fact that I'm hungry, and I get hangry, and I want to come in, and I want to be <laughs> totally full and get uh, those bigger meals. Oh, sure. Large burritos, um, you know, filling menu or filling meal. Actually, our green chili, homemade green chili. Excellent. Fantastic. Great. There's the food. Let's talk about beer. I see you got a lot of taps up there. Also, plenty of stuff in cans and bottles. We do. A uh, really large selection of uh, craft beers, uh, Colorado craft beers only. Uh, also, our fresh hand squeezed margaritas are excellent. I like it. I look up there right smack in the middle. I see the Bonfire Brewing out of Eagle. Bonfire Brewing is one of our uh, best sellers, actually. It's oh, a dim shits brown this time. Uh, excellent beer. Great. Excellent. Well, good. Well, we appreciate that as well. Uh, it's always nice to come up here and see your staff, too. That's the other thing. They're friendly. You know, so many places you can go sometimes, you know, they don't take the time. The girls here, primarily, I notice you have running around doing as your wait staff. They're always cordial. They're always helping out. You know, that's probably the most important thing to me, Ken. Uh, if you don't have a friendly staff, I don't think you can go much further than that. So uh, I try and hire some of the friendliest people I can find. I will agree with you. They're so nice, and I'm amazed at their memory. I mean, I can't remember what I have to do 10 minutes from now. They can remember what I ordered 30 minutes ago. I mean, it's just incredible. They run around, hey, you know, do you need something? And boom, you've got it in your hands immediately. Absolutely. I Absolutely. like your deck seating, too. Let's talk about that. I always kind of judge what kind of afternoon it is in Beaver Creek as I'm making my way down the escalator. You could sit outside here. Uh, yes, you can. Actually, I had people sitting outside this weekend, believe it or not. Had the heaters on. Oh, the big dump. Yeah. Actually, it was Monday, and the deck they was They were falling. braving it? Oh, yeah, they were braving it. What are your hours right now? When can we come in and start having lunch? And also, what time's the bar open? Uh, you can come in at 11 a.m. Actually, you'll see a few locals every once in a while showing up a little bit early if it's a big powder <laughs> day. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. for food, and, again, open late night. Great to see you, Jeff, in the Mug Club. Definitely you. popular. Oh, yeah, definitely. Stop by, see Jeff, come by the Coyote. This is hands down my favorite bar and restaurant that's up here at Beaver Creek. And we're wondering, is it going to be a powder day? Will the locals be out early? We're going to send it back to Tracy Miller. She's got your weather next.